And now for damage control. So this is after the John Bull run. I spent hours getting her all cleaned up. The wheels took some damage for sure. Um, you know, obviously 20 inch wheels, larger wheels, less means less tire. Uh, even though I'm running 37s, still took some damage. Um, so that's definitely on the radar as well. Um, so you can see there. But again, you know, that's just part of off-roading. So what, regardless of what wheel you have, depends on how much money you want to spend. Uh, regardless on what wheel you have, you're gonna take some damage. So that's something to be wary about. Got some marks on the fenders. And uh, again, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna do the Highline fenders and uh, keep the keep the uh, painted Rubicon fenders or go with something smaller because I will say that given the longer wheelbase and getting this thing into tight squeezes um, the fender took some took some damage here you can see it so the fender took some damage so I'm gonna replace those or go highline but I think I want something that comes in you know like that's half this because it's just so wide and then with the high line too, you're gaining, you know, three, four inches of clearance here. So that's something that's uh, coming next for upgrades. Uh, let's see the, uh, let's see, we got one little mark on the front skid plate. So really nothing there. I mean, that's about it. You know, skid, skid damage, let's see the rock rails which are gonna be replaced as well. Got some marks on those, some scratches underneath there. Check the skid plates, oh yeah. So it was um, an adrenaline rush and it was uh, really fun the whole time. Uh, and we got some marks, uh, some more rock rail stuff here again. Rear bumper. Um, so really that's the only damage we got from doing the full trail. The disclaimers I have, let's see. Don't take a stock, any stock Jeep, uh, Wrangler or Gladiator. Uh, you gotta have enough clearance to get through the trail um, and be prepared for, for traffic. I mean, there was, we went Saturday, August 1st, it was, there was 50 Jeeps out there and I wanna thank everyone that provided spotters. So another thing is have a spotter. Um, it's important, the trail cam on the Jeep Gladiator helps a lot, but having a spotter is very, very important as well. So that was really awesome to have uh, everyone who was out there in the Jeep community helping out and providing spotters for me and all that. So that was very helpful and very, very cool. So yeah, don't take a stock vehicle because <laughs> you'll hold up the line and be patient because it's going to take you four to five hours to get through the whole trail uh, depending on how many people are there because somebody's bound to get stuck. And in this case, there were some stock Wranglers that got stuck and had to get tow roped and winched out multiple times and people were coming up from behind yelling, oh, we got kids in the back and can you just pull over? And uh, yeah, the Gladiator here never got stuck once. I'm not gonna sit there and, and try and hold up the line to get the video and get the footage that I, that I needed, that I wanted. After the squeeze, there's coming out all the way back in the trail. It's just rock bed after rock bed. And, and we missed a lot of footage there. Uh, just amazing, <laughs> amazing stuff uh, coming through there. Um, coming out of the back end. And the first time we went, I came in east to west and I shot the east gatekeeper. 
Uh, I just wanted to get my feet wet. We got there really late. It was a day trip, uh, so we weren't camping out. Couldn't do the rest of the trail because uh, we were losing daylight. So again, um, that was the first part of the trail, which is the end of the trail. And then this last Saturday, we did the whole trail. And again, we didn't even get all the footage we wanted. So uh, there will be more John Bull runs, but again, we did the full trail from beginning to end to earn our badge.